Um, okay, so I wrote something to read here called A Day in the Life of a Hollywood Writer, just to sort of share with you one day last week. It's 6.45 a.m., and I'm up about an hour earlier than usual because I have to rewrite my movie. It's called Pledge. It's about sororities for Paramount. Um, before I write, of course, first I have to check my email. And I have something from Lindsay. She's responsible for bringing me here, and she and I are in the middle of contacting the city council and the MPAA. We're protesting Lionsgate, who are the distributors for this movie, Captivity. A few months ago, we brought these horrendous, violent, misogynist billboards down, and women all over L.A. banded together through these moms group and e groups and email lists. I got the um, personal phone number of John Feldheimer. He's the, the uh, CEO of Lionsgate. And we, but we bombed his... He had to change his phone number. <laughs> he had to change it. The outgoing message for Lionsgate, their main number said, we are aware of the problem with the billboards. But then they, they gave people, it was the greatest, the greatest week. But Lionsgate hates Jill Salway. <laughs> so uh, I, have to, I had to write back to Lindsay, and then I had to get back to Pledge. And Pledge is this movie. I've been working on this screenplay for Pledge for years now, and this pass that I'm doing on it is not an official pass. It's actually... Believe it or not, it's a last-ditch attempt by me and the director, Angela Robinson, uh, to save the movie. Last week we had this table read, which was actors performing it around a table for the studio, and um, unfortunately the table read went very, very badly. Pledged is a comedy. It's uh, you know my my version of giving uh, girls and women their own their forty-year-old virgin, their own knocked up. You know even a girl's version of American Pie. And the lead of this movie I wrote is an outsider chick. She's you know she's sort of like me, she's, you know, we all sort of write versions of ourselves, so she was trying to fit in, she was dyeing her hair, and she was tanning her body, and she was trying to pose as, you know, these girls, I, 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 I call them, I call them thank yous, there's like this breed of young women out there, and they don't say thank you, they go, thank you, <laughs> thanks, they're like these minimized, tiny versions, thanks, thank you, I have one nice blended, thank you. <laughs> and I call them thank yous. And it's the protagonist is a girl who's like posing as a thank you. And for the table read, um, they got to play my lead, like a version of me, they got a thank you. Um, they got this adorable little blonde girl. Um, and we, you've all seen her on a hugely popular weekly show, which I, I won't say the, the name of the show but she's opposite of me. She's um, just a little, cute, adorable, tiny, little blonde actress, and well, a actress wouldn't be a fair word for her. It's not fair. There's lots of people who train as actresses. She hadn't, there's, there's no training. It's, she came up probably through, mod she probably came up through child beauty pageants is where she probably came up through, but not an actress, yeah. But not, you know, a, a decent person, but not a comedian, you know, like not, she, like, if, she wouldn't have been able to hit any of the jokes that I wrote for her if she was, like, holding a, a baseball bat. <laughs> I mean, that's not fair. Baseball, baseball can be hard. She wouldn't have been able to hit the jokes if the jokes were the size of this room and she had a bat that was also the size of this room. She, well, that's not fair. Wait a minute. She couldn't, she wasn't able to hit her jokes in the read because she was reading them for the first time. Because she's like, I didn't get to read the script until just now. I'm sorry I haven't read it yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. And, and this is a script I was working on for years. And at times, it, it seemed that she was learning how to read as she was <laughs> the jokes I had written the term of the actor. There's nothing worse for comedic timing than somebody sounding out words. <laughs> It'd be like if I had just said that last sentence, there is nothing worse than comedic. 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 Comedic timing. It was bad. It was such a bad day. I sat there wincing. I knew my movie was going down. And afterwards, I went up to the executive. I said, this is a, this is a comedy. Why? Why couldn't I have had a comedian in the lead? Why? Why did you guys have to bring somebody beautiful in to read this? Why? Judd Apatow gets big old nasty old Seth Rogen. And all the boys in America get to relate to an imperfect human as their protagonist. Why did I get her? Why can't I have a funny girl? The director, Angela Robinson, and I were, were doing this rewrite this week to see, to see if we can make it new or make it funnier. I have to rewrite all those jokes, believe it or not, because she, she tanked them all. Uh, Angela Robinson is my director. She is exactly as she sounds. She is a lesbian of color. Yes. Yeah, we have those in Hollywood. We have a couple. 
Um, when I first met Angela, she told me she, that our movie was going to be a Trojan horse, that we would make it all seem all light and, and good times on the outside, but when the college girls and high school girls of America get there, there's going to be this message inside of power and strength and real sisterhood. And that day that I met her in the meeting, I, I, I nearly became a lesbian myself. <laughs> I actually, I nearly became a black lesbian myself. <laughs> Angela Robinson, she's the producer of the L Word. I, I was like, there's another woman like me. She's an imposter. She's a stealth operative. We're, we're out there in Hollywood, you guys. We're there, I promise you. We're there. We have our women's studies and our Andrea Dworkin and our radical empowerment. And it's, you know who she is. And it's, we keep it deep, deep, deep. You know, it's deep in our pockets. But Angela and I discussed that day. Like, academia, great, fine. Academia, wonderful. Like, that's where we learned all this stuff. And politics are great. But Politics aren't great at all. Politics suck. Um, but TV and movies, TV and movies, we said. this One great TV show, one movie, and instantly millions and millions and millions of people can think what I think and see what I see and, and know what I know, which is um, that, women, that women are heroes. That we're heroes.